Thank you for joining me. My name is Grandmaster Rodney Baptiste. I'm a former middleweight champion of the world in full contact karate, an eight to three black belt, and the owner of WCRB Karate. I have trained over 500 students to the level of black belt. And with a little bit of hard work and effort, you too can be, become one of them. Before I start, I want to say something to you. You want to have a little fun? Tell your friends that you're learning karate from one of the best fighters in the world and take a look at their faces. They're going to say, oh, no, you're not. No way. And then have them go to Google and spell out my name. R-O-D-N-E-Y, Rodney, Baptiste, B-A-T-I-S-T-E, -E, and watch what happens. My Wikipedia page is going to come up, and it'll talk all about everything that I've ever done with my martial arts background. And then they, too, can join in on all of the fun. Today, I want to talk about the nunchucks. Now, when people think about karate weapons, normally one of the first weapons that comes to mind is the nunchuck. The reason is because you see it all over the, the movies and with the self-defense, there's the ninja turtles and all of that. And nunchucks are relatively easy to use. We use nunchucks to improve other sports. Hand-eye coordination is needed with, with uh, lacrosse. Hand-and-eye coordination is needed with baseball. Hand-and-eye coordination is needed with, with hockey. And hockey, uh, hockey. And with the nunchuck, that will improve your game. But first, let's talk a little bit about what is a nunchuck. To understand a nunchuck here, let's talk about how karate was invented. Karate was invented when warring emperors and kings took away sharp weapons from an oppressed class of people, peasant farmers. These farmers had no means of protecting themselves. So what they did was they began to use their farming tools. And a nunchuck was just that. A nunchuck was used as a thrasher. Let's say I'm down at the river and I'm washing clothes and I wanted to thrash and get that last bit of stains out of those, out of those clothing. Or maybe I have a product that I'm going to you know, move to market, like wheat, and I need to condense it. So I would take my nunchuck and I would thrash it and I would condense it. Then I would be able to box it and move it to market. But if I suddenly found myself being attacked by a man carrying a sharp weapon like a spear, a sword, or a knife, I can use my nunchuck to protect myself. Now here are some safe, easy exercises that you can do at home that will improve your ability to play t-ball or, or racquetball or even uh, uh, baseball. Okay? You start by Calling your body to command. This is the June B position. Now this means that I need to control my body and that, that'll keep me safe. I'm going to keep one hand down and the other hand like this. Now it's important that I don't reach down and grab at the nunchuck. I'm going to throw it into my hand. So I'll throw it into my hand. Okay? I'll do that several times. Then I'll do it with the other hand. Drop it, throw it. Drop it, throw it. Drop it, throw it. Drop it, throw it. It's not as easy as it may, as it may look. But again, by doing this exercise, when you're out on the baseball field and someone throws a ball at you, it'll be easier for you to detect the rate of travel and catch that ball. Now I'm going to increase the difficulty by alternating. I'm going to drop, catch, drop, catch, drop, catch, drop, catch, drop, catch. I'll do that several times. Now, I'm going to take the nunchuck and I'm going to make a infinity 
sign. And an infinity sign is like the letter eight, I'm sorry, the number eight that's been knocked over. So if I take the number eight, knock it over, it's not like this, it is now like this. And the way I learn it is by making my motions exaggerated. I go left, wide, right, wide, left, wide, right, wide, left, wide, right, wide, left. Then I slowly begin to condense the movement. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And you'll notice at this point, I'm allowing my wrist to flex. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and catch. And then do it on my other side. Because remember, Part of the advantage of doing something like a martial art is it gives you the skills on both sides. So, I start large. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Once I get good at it, I start to condense it. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And then I catch it. Now, once I get good at that, I go backward with the infinity sign. So here I'm going down. On this one, I'm going to go up. Up. Again, it's not as easy as it looks, but it will improve your ability to work with objects in your hands. Tennis rackets. Think baseball. Think field hockey great job, and I always catch it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, and I'm going to flip it directly over my shoulder. Over. And then forward. And then over. And then forward. Now, when I do that, I'm going to take my opposite hand and put it across my chest and under my armpit. Now, a lot of you guys will put the arm behind you. Don't do that. Keep the arm in front of you and under your armpit. Here's what happens. You throw it into your hand. You throw it into your hand. Once again, throw it into your hand. Then you do it on the other side. You throw it into your hand. Hands over the chest. You throw it into your hand. Then, once you get good at that, and please, nothing is done overnight. You have to give yourself enough time to get good at these exercises. Typically, it takes anywhere between three to five days. Watch. Catch it, 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 catch it. Now, the secret to being able to do that is to actually throw the weapon into your hand. So don't just let it flare. You have to actually throw it into your hand. Throw it into your hand. Okay. Another exercise, one for coordination, is you're going to bring your left hand in while you keep your right hand completely straight. You cover your right arm with the left, then you bring your right to your belly. Okay, once again. Now you notice I'm not, I'm not shifting or changing my hand. I take my left hand, I start to bring it towards my chest. My right arm and elbow stay straight. I go over my, my right elbow, and then I take my right, and I complete the exercise. Looks like this. Okay? Then I'm going to do it on my other side. The right hand begins to come in, left hand stays straight. I go over and under. 
right here begins to come in. I go over and under. Over and under. Over and under. Okay? And once you, you get a certain level of proficiency, you can then work on switching sides. Okay? Another exercise is to catch the twirly stick under your armpit. Now notice I just called them twirly sticks because these are child-proof nunchucks. A twirly stick is not really a nunchuck. A nunchuck is made out of a real solid piece of oak, and if you were to strike yourself, or you can be working with it, you could hurt yourself. But these are really twirly sticks. They're child-proof, meaning that if you were to strike yourself, you're not at risk for injury at all. All you're doing is developing your hand-eye coordination and your ability to hit that tee ball every single time. Oh, by the way, by the way, if you're looking to, to uh, where you might be able to, to purchase one of these, you can go to my website, wcrbkarate.com, go to the store, and you'll search through and you'll, you'll see these, okay? All right, once again, you are catching and dropping, catching and dropping. Now, what I'm going to do, when the, the nunchuck hits my armpit, I'm going to clamp down on it. Clamp and catch. Clamp and catch. Clamp and catch. Okay? Now I'm going to put that with my infinity sign. Watch. Over and under. Clamp. Over and under. Clamp. You've got your Locking, and you have your, your catch. Okay, thank you for joining me. You'll see that within a very short time, if you give these twirly sticks, also known as nunchucks, a chance, your ability to hit that baseball further and longer every single time is going to be improved. Don't forget to hit the like button, and... Uh, We'll see you next time.